video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey Star Wars fans, thanks for tuning in to another action figure review. We've got a Black Series review. We've got Echo, the last member of the Bad Batch, to come out in 6 inch action figure form. Uh, if Hasbro could get onto some 3 and 3 quarter inch Bad Batch, that'd be great. And not just repainted clones in a four pack and call them Bad Batch, because that's not how it works. Gotta get the characters out. Gotta get the boys together, gotta get the squad. This one's looking killer. I've been so pumped about this one. Did review Omega, or Amiga, however you want to say it, uh, last week, or the week before. It might have been early last week. It's hard to keep track of weeks at the moment. <laughs> this year's just going far too quickly. So there is Echo, looking pretty good. Again, like I said, one of my most anticipated ones. And uh, yeah, it wasn't that long ago that we got Art Trooper Echo, which was... You know, that was a great figure too, so hopefully we get some love for some other clones, like Fives, Jesse perhaps, you know. Come on Hasbro, let's do it. Alright guys, without looking at the box much more, it's number 11 from the Bad Batch subline, and let's crack it open and have a look at Echo. Alright, here is Echo, straight out of the box, no helmet on, we'll get a look at his accessories. He does come with his helmet, which does have the uh, bit that enables his implant to sort of wrap around the head there. Um, there looks to be a, just a peg, peg there. So we'll look at how that goes on afterwards. So yeah, an awesome looking helmet, much like some of the uh, early ideas people had for Echo's helmet. We have this GoGo -Go Gadget claw skill tester thing for picking up soft toys that are too big for it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, he, I don't think he used this in the show. I did mention when I um, did the review for Omega that uh, yeah, I don't recall seeing this at all. Um, and I don't, I'm not sure that we did. So that is an extension, but one I will probably reserve to the accessories box. Um, for the for the most point, most part anyway. So, but cool accessory. I like that they've actually painted it silver, unlike his arm, which is just a little bit, a little bit boring and plasticky. Um, it's probably one of the only down points. Um, he does also come with his blaster pistol, which we've seen numerous times. That will fit very nicely in his holster. His backpack is removable. Again, that seems to sit on there really nicely. So let's get a close up of his face. There we go. Oh, the sort of light's very saturated. But um, yeah, he's quite a pale looking dude, and that's pr pretty much accurate. looking very much like a good realistic version of Echo from the Bad Batch, which I really dig. I think it looks fantastic. Hope Echo gets a little bit more to do in the second season. He was kind of just reserved for uh, unlocking doors and getting into computer links and stuff like that, whereas I think Echo has got a lot more sort of you know, personality, character development that could could continue on in a very big way. Um, so hopefully they do sort of pick up that a little bit in the second season of Bad Batch. But yeah, let's let's see how we get this helmet on. I'm actually going to remove the backpack. I did watch Sci-Fi's review last night because I did get the call from my local EB Games to come and pick this one up. And yeah, it was a little bit of a little bit of a hassle to get on, I think. Um, but I seem to have got it for the most part here. This doesn't really want to lock in, but there we go. It's just that 
peg. It doesn't really want to go in the hole of the other side. I think I might just have it sitting in there. So there we have it, which you put on the backpack. There you go. We have Echo with his helmet. I think he looks fantastic. I really do like this figure a lot. My tripod is currently a bipod and I have it leaning against the cupboard. But I have my little light box thing on. So we can do his salute there. So like he's got the uh, Clone Force 99 logo on the chest there. I really like that in the last season of the Clone Wars where Echo decided his place was with this crew, with this group of clones. He couldn't continue on the way he was. There was no way he could just jump back into the squad and the crew that was left after the Citadel where we thought Echo had actually died. Uh, yeah, I think there's a lot more that could be done with Echo. I'd like to see it, particularly with his uh, friendship with Fives. And imagine coming back to find that your best friend basically had, had lost the life. So yeah, there is Echo. What a killer figure. I love this one. I can't wait to get the rest of the crew out together. For a bit of a group shot, I think it'll look fantastic. It'll look really good, I'm really pumped for that. All right, there is Echo. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please drop a comment down below, that would be fantastic. Let me know what your thoughts are on this one. Some cool elements to this figure. Got majority sort of clone armor, new sort of knee joints which look cool. Some different elements. There's quite a lot of good stuff with this figure. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. There's plenty more toy reviews to come. Been doing this for over 10 years now, so. I ain't giving up. I ain't giving up. So thank you all very much for watching. Till my next video, may the force be with you, always.